is so yummy. Hi loves! Welcome back to my channel. I hope all is well. And for those who's new here, hi, my name is Marisol and welcome. We are here at my kitchen. So in today's recipe, I'm going to show you my favorite way how to make a um, kimchi fried rice with beef. Yes, you heard it correctly. Who doesn't love kimchi and fried rice? It's one of my favorite dish to make and it's very easy and very comforting. Um, so I have a little short story. I tried first kimchi back in 2002 when I went to Japan and since I like cabbage, um, yes, Japanese and Korean kimchi is made, it's the same thing, it ma it's made of Chinese cabbage but there's two different things between the two of them. The Korean, they do a uh, fermentation um, process but Japanese kimchi, they don't do, do it and they do have a minimal um, sourness and spiciness into it so anyways um i tried it and since then it's one of my favorite favorite side dish to have and it gives me more appetite so that means more rice so anyways um this since our holidays is um coming up and this will be a very um perfect um dish to serve to our family it is a simple recipe to make um, but it's full and packed of flavor. So um, without further ado, let's begin. So but first let's make our soft boiled eggs. Um, obviously I have a boiling water here. Um, let's turn off the stove and completely um, take that out from the heat. And then um, I would suggest to wait at least a minute or two before we put our eggs inside. So we can now place our eggs into our boiling water. So I am only making two eggs, but of course you can make more than that, like three to five. So slowly put the eggs in, in there. So the size of these eggs is large. Um, we have to set an alarm of 15 minutes. Alright guys, so um, 15 minutes is up and we have to shock it with the ice cold water to stop from cooking. Slowly and gently. Um, for larger eggs, you can do it between 16 to 17 minutes. And I am using a uh, cast iron pan with this recipe, but of course any pan you have at home is fine. Um, now I have it preheated for a few minutes already. I'm turning on back the heat and I am going to pour and add some olive oil and you can use vegetable oil as well. This is almost two tablespoons. And then I am using a beef sirloin. And we are going to cook this for about 5 to 6 minutes. We may now add um, some garlic uh, powder and onion powder. I'm cooking about 1 teaspoon of garlic powder and 1 teaspoon of onion powder. And then pepper as well. I want it a little peppery. So I'm putting like almost one teaspoon as well, and then salt, now six minutes is up when your beef is um, like this, like a uh, golden brown. So I cut it in a thinly slice and a bite size. So I want it not so small, not too huge cut. So I want the meat um, to be to be able to be visible in my fried rice. So we may now do uh, put and add the kimchi. So now what I did to the kimchi, I squeeze out the juice in it. 
this is about one cup one and one fourth cup of tea tea so anyways i squeeze out the juice in it because i want to still try that with the tea and i like the toasty caramelized flavor in it and i don't want the rice to be shaggy and we can now add some of the seasoning so i'm adding two teaspoons of chili flakes powder if you want it spicier you can um, add more if you like some sugar just a little more salt just adjust accordingly okay pepper put the rice I have here three and a half cups of rice but I am going to um, use a three cups first let's see if I can add more um, so I found this recipe using jasmine rice is perfect for it because um, jasmine rice have a short grain so when you're frying it it's not sticking together and the texture is so good and when you cook it it's the aroma is perfect and it smells so good So we may now put the um, kimchi juice. I have here one fourth cup of the kim kimchi juice. All right, I can't wait for the taste time. Now let's add a little sesame seed. And I am going to put a roasted seaweeds in it. This is only optional, okay? And then some fresh parsley. You can also use um, green onion. It's up to you. It's your preference, okay? And now, let's put this egg. So you gotta be careful. All right, it's taste time. Mmm, it is so yum. It, the egg tastes silky and the rice a little spicy. Now let's try the beef. It is so soft and I can taste a little sourness of the kimchi. They make it perfect together. Please like this video if you enjoy. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. See you in my next one. Keep safe, everyone. Bye.